Happy Friday, everyone. Andy Trice back again, and today I want to revisit the GoPro topic. Earlier this week, I did a blog post on using lens correction in Photoshop and in Lightroom using Camera Raw. And um, I want to also talk about another method that you can use, and I mentioned it in the previous post, of using adaptive wide angle to get rid of the distortion, um, fisheye distortion, or reduce the fisheye distortion in the image from a GoPro camera. So what I've done is I've taken an image off the GoPro, uh, and I'm going to show both techniques, how you use lens correction, how you use the adaptive wide angle, and kind of the differences on what each one of those does to the actual image. So let's go ahead and take a look. What we've got here is an image that I've taken off the GoPro camera. And you can see that there's a lot of distortion in the trees, there's some curvature in the fence, there's curvature in the umbrella. And what we're going to do is correct the image with both the lens correction and also adaptive wide angle. So you can see how each one of those distorts the image, each one of them treats it slightly differently. And I've gone ahead and I've duplicated the background so that we can easily toggle back and forth between them. And I've already converted these into smart objects. If you weren't sure on creating smart objects, all you have to do is select the layer, right click, and hit convert to smart object. I've already done that, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it again. So the first thing I want to show is using adaptive wide angle. So I will go ahead into filter and select adaptive wide angle. And in the adaptive wide angle dialog, what we're going to do is draw lines that correspond with straight lines in the image and the adaptive wide angle uh, capability will straighten out the image based upon those lines. So let's draw a line across the fence and we'll need to match that up so it lines up with the actual top of the fence. I think we've got that fairly close. Now we'll draw some lines on the trees to straighten out the trees. We can draw a line across the deck. We'll draw a line on the umbrella so we can straighten the umbrella. We might as well put one along the side of the house too. Now you see that some of the original lines that I drew are slightly off now. Straighten those back out. And I think that looks pretty good. We'll zoom in a little bit so we don't have the transparent areas at the top. And you can see, we'll hit OK, the filter will be applied, and we'll have an image that's pretty straight. The, the trees are vertical. The umbrella, actually, it may have overcorrected the umbrella a little bit. And you can see the house may have overcorrected that a little bit also. But you can see if I turn the, the adaptive wide angle filter on and off, you can, you can compare the difference. Let's actually go ahead and check. Yes, we have overcorrected the umbrella. So let's adjust that back. And we'll hit OK. The up adaptive wide angle is being applied, and you can see that we've now got an image that's been straightened out and it looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and select the other layer. So we'll select layer two, and we're going to go ahead and apply lens correction. So we'll get a filter and then lens correction. And it automatically recognized that we have a GoPro. We'll select Hero 3 Black Edition and we'll go ahead and select the Hero 3 Black Edition lens and we shall hit OK. It will apply the lens correction filter and you can see that now the umbrella has been straightened, the house has been straightened, the fence has been straightened, the trees are now vertical. So what we can do is actually toggle these layers back and forth so we can see you know, how they affect the overall image. Now what you're viewing is the adaptive wide angle filter and you can see that there's a little bit less distortion in the extremities of the image, so the top, bottom, uh, and left and right corners. 
So in particular, if you look at the shape of the umbrella, there's less distortion with adaptive wide angle than there is with lens correction. Where lens correction stretches out a little bit. So both of them will straighten the image. You can get great results. If you're doing a bulk procedure, you can apply lens correction to multiple images through Camera Raw in Adobe Bridge. And that can be really helpful, especially if you're gonna take all those and do a photo merge on them. But if you're just doing a single image, depending what you want to use it for and how you want to do it, you can get uh, great results with adaptive wide angle. The drawback is that adaptive wide angle is a little bit more manual of a process because you saw that we had to actually identify where the image should be straightened out and the adaptive wide angle filter straightened that out for us.